Hey guys, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Eric here with driverlineup.com. For a long overdue check-in, we didn't do one the last two days. So where we where did we leave off? Uh, we were in Florida, down south of Tampa. Um, in fact, we were almost in Miami. And now we're in Minneapolis or just outside Minneapolis. And talk about extremes, man. It was 100 degrees, 102 degrees, I think, down there in the middle of the day on when we were unloading at our 90. And it is now 33 degrees. So, took a little bit of a rest here at a TA, got showers. Uh, we were really bad and ordered pizza. Uh, our supplies are awful right now. We've This COVID thing's really messed things up because... Uh, used to it would be that i would i could pull into a walmart anywhere off the interstate at two in the morning easily park because there's no cars in the lots run inside stock the fridge you know take a 30 minute break well because of covid walmarts aren't open all night so you know anybody who drives a truck you know pulling a 53 foot trailer into a walmart at two in the afternoon is a little bit of a gamble so Keeping the supplies going and strong in the truck is getting a little difficult. So <clears throat> we were bad and ordered pizza last night. Um, so yeah, I got to go air up all six of my tires because they're freaking out. They're like, my tires are like, we weren't ready for winter yet. Going from 100 degrees to 33 degrees in a day and a half is... <laughs> they're all three pissed off so or all six pissed off so i gotta go put air in the tires can't do that till jenna gets back to the truck because it's not cold enough for the truck to keep idling and i need her to sit here and make sure that it doesn't shut off so that i have the air compressor on long enough for me to go um air up all six tires uh so which you know my cascadia used to on the cascadia i don't know if this is advisable i did it um i could put it in neutral and set the cruise control to like two or three miles per hour and it would uh it would keep it from keep the truck from shutting off and it would give it a few rpms which would help the air compressor work a little harder so i can't do that on a peterbilt it just so she has to sit here and make sure that it keeps idling and doesn't shut off for me to air up all six tires. Um, so, yeah, it's cold. Not freaking thrilled with how quick this winter has hit. 33 degrees. I was not really <laughs> prepared for that. Um, anyway, I want to talk to you guys about uh, the load we just finished and load choice because load choice really helped us out. Um, getting out of Florida I, I, when we left off I told you guys it was highly likely we would get a orange juice load at a dollar a mile out of Florida because our 90 was uh, just three or four miles from you guys know the orange juice place and I, I try not to mention companies that I'm actively delivering to or from um, or close by I, you know I'll, I'll generalize like Walmart DC's things like that but when I'm talking about cheap loads, I don't want to talk about companies in specific, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, uh, we were just a couple miles from that orange juice place, so I assumed we were going to get a dollar a mile load out of there carrying orange juice, and I was kind of concerned about that because the trailer we had was really dirty, and there was no, there's no washout by there, um, so I was hoping we didn't have to go a long way away to get a washout and then haul all the way back to get orange juice load. Um, so I pull up load choice and in load choice, and I'm going to do a more extensive video about load choice because I absolutely love it. It has really changed the way that we run the truck. Um, it's, a, it's, it's just a great system. Uh, but the way it works is up to two hour or within two hours of your PTA, your projected time available of availability uh, so let's say your PTA is at 2 p.m. well at noon you can then go and request the first three of six loads so at noon I requested three loads uh, they're all orange juice uh, two of them were New Jersey and one of them was Denver um, 
<clears throat> and they were a dollar a mile. Now, with those orange juice loads, they're all, almost always heavy, really heavy. Uh, and they were in their in their reefer. I think they keep them at like 34, 33, 34 degrees. I think. I think they're just above freezing. I haven't done one in a while, but uh, maybe someone in the comments can correct me on that. Um, so one, two were going to New Jersey and one was going to Denver. I don't like going to Denver. I just don't have good luck in Denver. It's always either shuttle loads of bottled water out of there, um, beer loads, which are extremely heavy. Um, I mean, like, sometimes those beer loads, I've done beer loads where I literally had 40 pounds under gross, um, which is crazy. I don't like running that heavy. You can't top off your fuel tanks. You know, you can't even go put a can of soup on the truck, you know. Um, or we deadhead all the way to Kansas and get a meat load, and I don't like really that deadhead. I don't like running light out of Denver, so or empty out of Denver. So I just don't really like going to Denver. Um, just not a good, not a lot of good loads going out. Maybe there are for others. Just for me, it's never really worked out. I've always either had to deadhead somewhere or take a load out of there that I don't really want to take. Um, and with New Jersey, you guys know I. New Jersey's always been good to me, um, but I was just there. I don't like driving to New Jersey. Just because it's good to me doesn't mean I like going there. So uh, I didn't really want to go right back, but uh, it was looking like those were my two options. So don't take those three and request um, another three loads. One of them's New Jersey orange juice, and one of them's uh, Denver orange juice. And these are all, I think, roughly 1,600, 15, 16, 1,700 miles at a dollar a mile. Well, there was one load that came in there on that second round that was a dry load, same amount of miles, 16, 1,700 miles, um, with uh, 390 miles of deadhead. Um, so that was included. So 16 to 1,700 miles, total, total miles. And it paid a dollar a mile. But the difference is, 390 miles deadhead, mean, meaning I run empty all the way out of Florida, great for fuel. Uh, it's dry from Savannah to Minneapolis, uh, meaning I don't have to deal with a reefer, and it wasn't quite as heavy as a juice load, um, and it gets me to Minneapolis. So, and I and I like being, I don't like coming to Minneapolis, but I always get great loads out of here, or at least nearby, usually Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, or get something that out of the meat meat patch. Uh, so you know, if you have those choices, if they all are the same amount of miles and they all pay the same a dollar a mile to get out of Florida, which I was fine with because remember I got a three dollar a mile load into Florida, so it's two dollars a mile round trip for me. But if you have those choices, wouldn't you run empty and light 390 miles of it and then go dry the rest of it to a place that you like to reload out of you know so load choice just gives you a little more flexibility and freedom it, it uh, and you know I was able to get the washout on the way up to Savannah um, now that load was tight it, it was it was it was tight because I got there three hours early in Savannah I think I got there at like 11 p.m. It was supposed to be ready at 2 a.m. Well, it wasn't ready at 2 a.m. So that made it a tight run to Minneapolis. That's why I didn't do any content between then and now because we just ran hard to get up here. Um, and then when they uh, when this load popped up, uh, which we're now going to get a meat load in Nebraska, so we got another long deadhead, but that's okay. Even with a deadhead, this load going to PA, that we're about to go get uh, pays dollar ninety a mile, I think. So it's a good load, uh, but it has plenty of time to get there. It doesn't have to be picked up until ten p.m. tonight. Um, so you know we got a little bit of a breather. So anyway, load choice is great. I'm going to talk more about that, but uh, yeah, we ran hard from Florida uh, up to Savannah to Minneapolis, and here we are. Um, getting ready to continue the journey so uh, look watch for that video on load choice it's a great system love it um, and uh, we're gonna get hopefully down to where it's a little bit warmer and get on get get moving and keep it rolling so anyway that's our check-in it was really quick thanks guys so much uh, we'll do another one later today stay safe out there make good decision as always drive to thrive thanks guys